Well, the NFL is ending race-based norming of brain tests for concussion claims. It's all part of a $1 billion settlement with thousands of former players. Critics of the race norming practice say it may have prevented hundreds of black players suffering from dementia to win awards that average $500,000 or more. Now, this algorithm assumed black men begin with lower cognitive skills, meaning they had to score much lower than white players in order to prove cognitive decline. All right, so let's bring in former NFL running back Ken Jenkins. He played for the Philadelphia Eagles, Detroit Lions, the Washington Redskins. Ken, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. All right, so Ken, I spoke with you and your wife before, uh, after you had delivered that letter to the Department of Justice about this, asking for an, an investigation into civil rights violations on the part of the league. So now, what is your reaction to this revised agreement, which now eliminates race as a consideration? Well, certainly the news came as a, uh, as a win for us. We believe that uh, ending race norming was imperative to move forward. Uh, with this case, there's still a lot of things wrong with it, um, but it's it's kind of hard to celebrate the um, uh, the reversal of a blatant, blatantly um, racist policy. It's like trying to give them attaboy after they uh, you know they set the house on fire and now they say they're going to help put it out. Well, I agree, and I actually want to uh, to ask you about that in a moment. But first, um, you know, as I said, you know, I spoke with you and your wife about this before. It was certainly quite a battle to even get to this point. So, what do you think this means going forward for the league, uh, for players, now players current and future, but particularly for players like yourself, past players? Um. Well, the, the truth is we don't know what the details are yet, you know, and we're a little suspect and it's hard to be objective. Um, but the truth is I, we have to read it. We have to, the devil will be in the details and we're going to have to really understand it um, uh, line by line. Um, it, it, it is possible that this could be uh, a really good thing for former players, uh, black players in particular. Um, but their history says that they leave themselves a side door all the time. So, it's going to be difficult until we get into the details to know exactly what's in it. All right. And so, so Ken, talk about that. You seem a bit hesitant, uh, you know, as you said, to celebrate. So just, so just tell me why. Why is there that hesitancy? Well, uh, again, history says that, um, um, you know, there's been no apology. You know, uh, there's certainly been no admission of, of guilt by the NFL. And... Um, uh, in, the, in the original settlement, they said that the doctors were responsible for applying race norms. And, uh, but every time a black player uh, got approved for a, uh, for a settlement, they challenged it and then made the doctors go back and apply race norms. So again, if there's no side door, that's great. But right. again, it's hard to be objective and we're gonna try to be objective. And I hope that this is the end of uh, race norming altogether. And before we let you go, Ken, last question for you as a black man, Talk about this algorithm that allegedly will no longer be used, but it was developed back in the 90s, included socioeconomic factors, and then lots of assumptions. Yeah, well, uh, we think that, you know, the, the race norming strategy is outdated, and it's certainly never really applied to cognitive behavior. You know, it may have made sense back in, in the day when, um, you know, doctors were accounting for diseases that certain groups might... Uh, uh, might be predisposed to high blood pressure, things like that. Uh, but it certainly didn't apply to race norming. It's, there's no way out of the womb you can say that a black person is uh, uh, less cognitively um, able than any other person on the planet. It just yeah. doesn't make sense. That, right. It absolutely does not make sense. Former NFL player Ken Jenkins, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. Thank you very much.